for people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my video thank you for subscribing please if you are here to subscribe kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever i upload new video in today's tutorial we are going to be making a shift top with this organza fabric this organza is two years so i don't think if i will make use of the whole two years this top is together with the sleeve i'm cutting both the top and the sleeve together so first i'm going to fold into two so this is how i'm folding into two this side is closed I'll fold this again, making it into four. Here is still close. Okay, this is it. Fold it into four. Since I'm cutting this top together with its sleeve, I will take both sleeve and shoulder measurement. The sleeve length I'm working with that together with the shoulder. 52 inches divided by 2 will give us 26 inches. Here is 26 inches. Folding allowance. Still on this line, I will mark out shoulder measurement. 16 inches divided by 2 will give us 8 inches. So, this is shoulder measurement. I will take my arm hole measurement. That's 20 inches divided by 2 will give us 10 inches. I will take Top length 24 inches. I'll add folding allowance one inch. I'll also mark this. Leave measurement out. So this is armhole measurement. I will take shoulder to bust measurement twelve inches. Shoulder to half length sixteen inches. I still mark that out. I will take bus measurement divide by 4 and the bus I'm working with is 42 inches divide by 4 will give us 10.5 starting from this end this is 10.5 you add the easy ones together with same allowance so this is depend on what you want. I will take waist measurement divide by four will give us nine inches. That's that is this. divide by four will give us nine inches. I also add his allowance and same allowance. I'm going to connect from bust measurement to waist measurement 
down to top length of this like this. So this is what I'm cutting at. I'll go ahead and cut this out. So for the neckline, this is where I mark 3 inches for shoulder slope. For the neckline, the width I will make use of 4 inches. The depth I will make use of 4 inches also. So connect in circles. So I will connect. So this is it. When you open it, up, it will be like this. For this hemline of this sleeve, and also fold here before closing the two sides of with body measurement. So I'll quickly do that now. So this is it. I finish folding this sleeve, and also turn the neckline with bias. I'm going to close the two sides up with body measurement. Okay, now I'm dividing both bust and waist measurement by two. Bust is 42 inches divided by two will give us 21. I also add back the ease. Check what is remaining. Take half from here. And also half from here. Waist measurement 36 divided by 2 will give us 18 inches. And also add back this. And check how much is remaining. Take from here. And also take from here. For the sleeve, this is it. This is where I'm stitching. And on this side, now I will insert elastic. I'm using this one inch elastic. Push it to it. Safety.
So this is from one side of the sleeve and also inside on this side of the sleeve. Which office thing? So this is it. So I'll go ahead and close it up. I've closed the two sides off. This is the right side. I'll give it a good press. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please, if you are here to subscribe, kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to enable you get a notification once I upload new video. See you guys in my next tutorial. Love you guys. Bye.